Warning, this audio or video may contain explicit language or extreme views. Discretion is advised. Yeah, let's go. I'm unstoppable, do the impossible. I'm irresponsible, yet I'm phenomenal. I got an arsenal, I'm dropping bombs, you know. No, I'm not stopping, no. Conquer the option. To the top, here I go, think I'm chosen. To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken. I can hear the tick tock of the clock, I'm in motion. So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion. The Pain Train Pipe Bomb. It is November 30, 2017. Still making all our adjustments. We'll wait for a few people to show up. Yes, and this is the last this is the last uh last day of the month. And uh oh, shit. still making all our adjustments. Oh, no. We'll wait for a few people to show up. Feedback. Yes, and this is the last this is the last There we go. Yeah, so um this is the last um what you call it? The last hurrah of November. November and almost, almost end of the year. That's oh my God! Another year almost in the books, right? Shit, yo. Which is just obscene Helen's to begin gone. with, but yeah. Yes. Hi, Helen. What's up, Helen? You still waiting? Goddamn. What? what would you expect? You go for an interview. There's probably like 800 people in front of you. Oh. It's like mass hysteria. Wait a minute. We have to say something so Ricky knows we're here. Something. Something. <laughs> Enzo, what's up? Enzo, hey, what's up, Enzo? Enzo, Paisan. <laughs> All right, so basically the uh, concept around this episode, mm-hmm. as something vibrates, uh, yeah, Helen shared the video. Uh, what's up, Eric? Uh, there are two particular topics. Again, the phone lines are, the phone line is open, the one phone line that we have. Um, we're talking about the two things, which is one here locally in Marine Park, Brooklyn, um, that, let me see if I can still do this. I can do it off my phone. Um, the rezoning laws that they want to do because people are rebuilding their houses and they're somehow getting away with it. And a lot of residents in the marine park area are not happy with this rezoning law um it's just first off it's just completely insane that it's even happening um that's that that's the first topic the second topic we are currently dealing with is the new plan by the mta to change overnight travel by cutting off the um the late night travel on the trains yeah what's up steve hey steve and i'm gonna be honest with you after reading the article i kind of i have a duality on that see me me as a person i work at night you know traveling at night you know trying to get home is, is going to be a bitch for certain people because i mean like what if you got what if you work four to twelve and 12 o'clock comes your shift is over how are you going to get home? You understand? Me, basically, I work 12 to 8, you know, majority of the time. Right. And I work 4 to 12, too. But see, 4 to 12, I do my doubles, and that's it, on a Friday. Right. But, like, certain days, I work at night. And then also, too, you have people who come home from parties and stuff like that. And then for New York, you know, parking is hard. You know what I'm saying? You know, parking is very, very difficult, especially people in Manhattan. You know, I mean, you can't just park anywhere in Manhattan because in Manhattan, you park somewhere, you're going to get a ticket. You know, even, oh, yeah. even the Bronx and even parts of Brooklyn. So... It's going to be kind of hard when it comes to, like, overnight because, I mean, we've been, I mean, for us living in New York all our lives, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to actually try to cope with the whole, um, you know, with the whole the changing um, of the ch- ch- schedules. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, there, there are multiple reasons why. Now, again, for everybody that tunes in, um, especially if you are from the Marine Park page that I just added, um, Wesley actually... I uh, did a video with our distant reporter Shu right. earlier this afternoon, right. as well as I did one with Shu at like 1 a.m. Right, right. You know that was the availability of it all. So thank you to Wesley for that. 
What's up, Wesley? Um, hey, Mike, what's up? Wesley's actually going to be making an appearance next week. Oh, yeah. Um, here? He's coming here? He's going to be here. Awesome. Oh, Wesley's so, doing a pipe bomb. Wesley's doing a pipe bomb. Awesome. He's going to be initiated. Oh, 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 um, oh, oh. He's, oh you got it. <laughs> but, but the understanding is, and, and I have to get this out, maybe just to just clarify a little bit more than what um, a lot of people know about Any the actual origin of the pipe bomb. Yeah. Um, from day one, the objective of the pipe bomb itself was to make sure that people's voices were heard right of course. now we've done that this is the capability of getting more voices heard um whether it be via the comments in the chat room or the the phone calls or the comments that are left on these videos after we're done um and in, particularly in these two cases the objective of our show helps to get the other people's opinions out there and heard mainstream media. So pipe bomb in itself is, it goes to a WWE reference. If you don't watch wrestling, um, the voices of the voiceless, this is what we do. That sounds like a sip that song too. Think about it. it does. <laughs> but this is what we do. This is two um, particular topics. And it's right that, need to be discussed mm -hmm. that if we go and we talk about these things and make sure that the, our opinions get out, it might be good against the fight for them changing everything. Right. Um, Thanks, the, Steve. Thanks, the, Steve. I'll put the phone number up. Sorry. Hi, Aunt Lainey. How you doing? Cousin yeah, Miguel's Lainey. coming on. See, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, you okay. I've been, I mean, I've been hanging around here since I was in my early 20s, you know, with you guys and stuff like that. Yeah. And, um, which is interesting, because, you know, this it's like we, we fucking knew each other for, like, years. We're basically damn near family. Damn right. Um, I've been in Marine Park a few times, you know, um, hockey and the baseball and stuff like that. Just just chilling out there, you know? You yeah. know what I mean? It, it was far from a certain area, but... We got a shout-out to Mike Salerno, who is a really good friend of mine. Uh, Mike, we're talking about that rezoning thing, so if you guys, if you want to chime in on that, go right. Uh, me like me um I, I can basically say straight up you know it's kind of stupid of rezoning it because you're taking a whole park and just basically not really you just you just tear it down and just putting a house over it it's well like the the main concern um over this rezoning thing okay is the attempt to make houses that are at legal height into a higher establishment Right. Okay. And, 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 and that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, it sucks because that park, I mean, it's nature. No, number one, first of all, let's let's hit it bottom. It's nature. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're fucking with nature. It's like basically you're taking stuff out of where kids basically will, will usually play at. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's bad enough right now. A lot of the kids is not really playing much sports as they used to anymore. Not anymore. But, you know. See, Enzo, Enzo used the perfect word as we say hello to your, your, your lady. Um. Hi, it's gentrification. Hi, baby. Just, gentrification. Yeah, yes, yeah, I was going to okay. say that. I, I, I don't that's, want to put the, it out there, but... That's the main problem of this all. To be honest, it's just like is, this. I'm sorry. Is, uh -huh. is that there are... I'm not generalizing anybody on this. No, no, no. no, no. Because it happens all over the... All over the it's the, happened all over the borough. Right yeah. It happens in Manhattan, Queens. Yeah. Even Staten Island. Why change something or fix something that's not broke? If if you purchase mm. a property, okay, mm. you have to be happy with the property. You shouldn't just purchase the property and then automatically, dramatically change the property to automatically suit your needs. Right. Now, yes, there are houses in this neighborhood. I'm not going to lie. I mean, mm -hmm. there's one right around the corner from the dungeon. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. That I have been clamoring over since I was a little kid to own. Right. Okay. Now the house in itself at real estate price, from my understanding, is like three point five million dollars. Right. Right. Wow. It mm -hmm. takes up a corner and half a block on the main road, Quinton Road, mm -hmm. and it is like a, I'd say maybe floor, four floor house. Yeah. With a finished basement, and then it has another little kind of outhouse slash shed 
man cave type thing. Mm. Um, it is suitable for living, but that was there already. That was there before a lot of the dramatic changes in the neighborhood started to happen. You know, you know what's funny? To piggyback on what you said, what you said just now. Um, I'm sorry to cut you off. Before we go on, um, Aunt Winnie said that she missed the beginning. No, they're not looking to do away with the, <coughs> the actual Marine Park. They're looking to rezone the Marine Park neighborhood. Mm. That's See, basically what we're talking I'm, about. I'm going to be honest with you. Speaking of gentrification that um, the Enzo did bring up, um, two neighborhoods that I basically, well, I li- well I'll just, let me just come around and say it. Brownsville <laughs> basically becoming more gent- gent- gentrified now because of they're making a lot of, a lot of adjustments. I mean, don't get, don't get me wrong. Certain changes are nice and good. But these changes have a motive. There's a motive behind that. Like, for instance, they say, okay, it's nice and stuff like that. We got this change and stuff like that. But the thing about it is, what is the motive behind the change? The change basically is you're trying to get a certain people out of that neighborhood by raising the price of of the of, of, of what you call it, of the what, of the the housing and stuff like that. You're trying to raise the, the price. Living. Cost of living is sky high now. You know what, what? I'm saying? You know. It's like it's basically you know what I'll put it out like this. They're trying to get a lot of the um, a lot of the blacks out, a lot of Latinos, and even you got some of the like lower class Caucasian. They're trying to get out. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I mean, let let's just let's just basically put it out there. You know, we can't. It's a, it's an elephant in the room. Just be honest. Yeah. Well, you know? first off, I don't see Bertha laying around anywhere, so we can leave her <laughs> leave her over there. Um, <laughs> but no, the, the the point I guess that is kind of like being pushed upon us is. Is that they're trying to make it look like New York is not the dirtiest, dingiest fucking city on the planet? Let's be honest with this, okay? Because if you if you kind of haven't noticed, and it's not just Brownsville though, mm. like even Bed Stuy, yeah, um, is changing because a lot of the people from Manhattan are now. Yeah. The, uh, my, Williamsburg is the same. My neighborhood, the my way, neighborhood right thing. now, as we speak. Yeah. Okay, they are moving out of the city, mm-hmm. and it's an avalanche effect mm-hmm. because normal neighborhoods that I'm not used to being in, or for example, not comfortable mm-hmm. to have been in once before, I go there now, and the 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 scenery has changed. It's, it's different, yeah. yeah. Way, yeah I know it's a different. gentrification way thing. Different. I understand this. Okay, it's happening in Coney Island that they're trying to clean up. Yeah. However, and this is where the problem becomes, okay? This was discussed in our earlier video. Uh, the, the discussion videos will be posted on YouTube later for everybody to watch. And I guarantee you it's a must-watch on both of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, the quality of the videos are not great. I apologize for that. They were done off of phones. But... The problem is, is this mm-hmm. employment in New York City, Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, the Manhattan, Island. Staten Island. OK, yeah. in a general, the, the, that big fucking nut egg right there. OK, employment does not allow you to catch up with the times. Of course. OK, I, I agree. Living with does agree. get more expensive. OK, but then again. You look at our economy, and the economy... Uh, California, too. Okay. The economy it's, it's, it's cannot California catch also. up. Yeah, that's okay? true. That's true. The, again, the little guys like us, who don't make forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year, okay, will find it more of a challenge to survive. Right, right, right. Because all of these things are now changing. Now, I'm going to hit you with something, too, which is interesting, which, which I've noticed in my neighborhood. See... Granted, you have these people that move from the city up there because basically they figure, oh, it's too expensive up there. But check this out. When they come into Brooklyn, you got like five fucking people in one apartment. Five people in one apartment, one place. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, like packed them, pack them like sardines. That's true. I kid you not. And, and it's like, wait a minute. And, and we expect these people to think, and we think these people have money. These people are, are rich, are, are fucking dirt poor. They're poorer than us. They work the same type of jobs as us. Half of them don't even fucking work. Half of them basically, you know, live off of, live off of, you know, live off the system. All right. And it's crazy. See, now I'm going to comment on Antonio's thing. He moved west, okay? Mm-hmm. There's better money out west. Yeah. But 
the problem with his comment, I'm not judging his comment, but, but with moving out of New York City, okay, the limitations change. Yeah. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Long Island, okay, mm -hmm. yes, it can be a cheaper cost of living. But However, both topics for this forum tonight bleed together because okay if you move to pennsylvania if you move to new jersey if you move to long island okay your taxes change mm. okay you then have to then compensate for the changes in travel if you're a bus and train guy like Karasu himself those options change. Yes. They are not yep. the same schedule as New York City. That's right. That's okay. Right. That's right. So when you're adapting to go to another state or another city or another county, okay, take into effect that, yes, your apartment might be cheaper. Mm -hmm. Your bills may be cheaper. But your taxes will change. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. In Long Island, even if you don't have any kids, you got to pay a school tax. And then there's a county tax yeah. mm -hmm. on top of that. There are multiple other taxes that you pay once you leave New York City. Mm -hmm. So just by saying that you're going to move out of New York City is going to save you money in the long run, it's not. It's the same balanced mess no matter where you go. Now you could go and buy a house in Pennsylvania for one hundred and forty thousand, but you're in the boondocks. That's okay, true. That's you're true. surrounded by woods. There's no bus coming by your house. No, no, you got you got you got to have a type of car. You can't drive. Okay, so let's let's. Let, I mean, I'll, it's a I'll great always, and valid point. I'm I'll, not gonna lie, but I always say this. I would say, no matter what part of the jungle you move into, you're always gonna meet predators. Mm -hmm. Whether whether they're apex or non apex. Well. Um, I'm going to comment to Joe because Joe actually put a comment on my thing. Mm -hmm. I did share the, the video to the Marine Park page. Uh, comment from Joe Dudian. I'm hoping I'm saying his last name right. Um, he grew up in Canarsie. Unfortunately, crime went up when whites left. Now, I'm not being racist. I'm just reading his comment. Okay. Middle class blacks that tried to leave high crime and own their homes now live in homes largely with bars on the windows. So is there a middle ground? Um, Joe, if you're still watching, um, listen, we can't, I, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm going to say this. It might sound wrong because of the way that it's swirling around in my brain. Say it, say it, okay. man. Say it, say it. Okay. Say it, say it. Be honest. I cannot say it's a race thing. Okay. As you can see, our show, we are diverse. Mm -hmm. For those who watch, mm -hmm. okay, we have a Korean girl, okay, we have a black, a black, a black Puerto Rican, okay, we have an Italian guy here. I am multinational. Our executive producer is a multinational nationality person. I mean, okay, I, mean, I grew up in the Flatbush Junction, and yes, did the neighborhood change? Of course. Yeah. But did it deter me from living there? No. no. Okay. okay. I am friends with every nationality. I have visited multiple neighborhoods. I'm not saying it's a nationality thing. There is not a dis it can't you really can't say that there's a discrimination because a neighborhood changes. Every everybody, okay? every, see everybody could see you know what it is what I can't stand? See I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, you got a, and you got a lot of blacks. I'm saying, and I'm saying it's like blacks will say, "Oh, I'm moving out of the hood and I'm gonna go into a suburban area because there's no crimes." As I said earlier, no matter what part of the jungle you move into, you're always gonna see predators. You're always gonna meet predators because why? What may not be as bad as in that neighborhood is gonna be even worse in another neighborhood. Because I mean, I mean, let, uh, like, like I'll say like this, like case in point, and it, it, it's gonna be a race thing. I'm gonna tell you like. This. Like for instance, you got a lot of blacks want to meet up, move out of the hood, and they go into like a mostly Caucasian neighborhood. Guess what? You're you're like basically a little spot of a little spot of pepper in a, in a neighborhood full of salt. All right. Because well, I'm 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 trying to give a little bit of interaction because we 
you were trying to right, 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 you know, right, right, right. everything. What's up, my lady? I'm like, what? Like, first like, off, uh, I, uh, my aunt lady lives up in like the middle of nowhere. Right, well, I'll right, be honest. Right, right, I mean, right, right. Yeah, they, yeah, the, yeah. the land up there is awesome, but she brings up the point. Um, no neighbors. School is 12 miles away. Ew. There goes, there goes. You're getting away from fucking like your 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 city stuff. Now, mind you, my aunt Laney used to live around the corner from me when we were living in the junction. Okay, everybody's asking. She was right, literally right around the corner. Okay, mm -hmm, so right. stores are also six to twelve miles away, and this is yes. why you have to drive oh my God. everywhere. I, I, you know what's funny? I, um, I was thinking to about Jim's that too. to Jim's comment, uh, people that moved in were nice. Crime went up was the issue, but again. You really crime's gonna happen everywhere. I hate to say it, but like it's not, not the fact of a nationality. Exactly. I hate to say it, and and I can get bitched at this for it. Crime's everywhere. Controversy causes chaos, and that's what we kind of like. Okay, if you cannot have a proper upbringing, don't bring people into this world. Okay, that's how crime is started. I mean, it's a totally different topic. We will touch it at another point. But again, the people can be nice, but if you do not have a nice upbringing, if you're brought up like a fucking piece of shit, you're going to be a piece of shit. Right, exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay? That's and that's more of the reasonings why these things are happening. Because now, for example, Coney Island, I mean granted, we went through the hurricane 5 years ago. We had another hurricane years right. before that, right, right. and people are still trying to unbury themselves from that. But the point of it being is, is that people are trying to make things better. Right. There should be limitations on how to make things better. Not go overboard and make things look out of place. Okay? The majority of people that live in Marine Park right now have been here for years. Okay? It's the truth. I've been in the neighborhood since 93. Jim's been in the neighborhood since 93. Okay? We've seen tons of changes in 20... 24 years? Was it 24 years? 24 years of being in this neighborhood. Right. Okay? But if you're going to buy something, make sure it suits yourself first. Right. Before you say, okay, you know what? I've been here five months. I don't like the height of my house. I need another floor. Let me break the law. Okay, the law is the law. And the point of the, the, the open forum tonight is a lot of people are very upset with these changes. There are arguments between both sides. I understand this. But if you're not going to listen to the people, then why bother? Why, have, why bother having an election then? You know, you know what it you is? You understand what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's along those same lines. You know what it is? I'll put it to you like this. What, what, what I see with this whole thing. The reason why they have elections is because basically to appease the people. It's like, it's like basically putting out the Queen of England, knowing that she's just a figurehead. She doesn't really have much of authority. You know, it's just basically a figure, like a, a figure, a figure a doing something that's figuratively, you know, just to put a head out there. You know, not, not to sound Just because it's expected. Right, right, exactly. So that's why, and to be honest, and I hate to say this, but the middle class and the higher class basically have a lot of say in this because, hello, we live in a society, of course, it's capitalism. Money talks. Money basically is telling them, okay, you know what? They, they, they can fucking just say, you know what? Oh, I could take your house down today because they have more money than you. We can, we can get you and your family out of here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's what's been really going on in different neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's it's crazy. It's sad. The way I see it with this whole rezoning thing, and, um, you know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna sit here and, you know, I'm not going to throw anyone under the bus or you know, call people out and everything, but what I heard about this whole rezoning process in the neighborhood is that the ones who are calling for the rezoning are saying things like the houses in the neighborhood are too small for our families. So it's one of two things. Either stop having 14 kids or find a neighborhood with houses that suits your family. Exactly. Don't tear houses down turning the fucking neighborhood into an uproar when you can easily go somewhere else but the, but the point of it being okay i can understand people buy houses it's a nice quiet neighborhood right okay marine park has always been a quiet 
it neighborhood. Yes, I have. Yeah. I've there are times where we have so, sat out on the stairs, the, the, the stoop or whatever, and we've heard the Q train, which is on East 16th Street, at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's how dead quiet this neighborhood is. Yeah. Okay? It's a very quiet neighborhood. Okay? But the problem is, is that with if okay, I'm again. I might see it again as a different way, uh -huh. but if you want to change a house, you have to be able to change it legally. Okay, right it's, that, that's the point of it. Bullshit. Okay, a lot of people get away with a lot of shady shit. Our EP is on, by the way. Yes, because <laughs> she's because she's busy working, and then she'll be listening to us. Hey, sister, man. criticizing everything later. I mean, honestly, um, you man, like you know. It's, it's so far living in New York now, like mm. this whole thing with Marine Park in New York. Period. Even even going back to the whole um metro the the um the NTA, it's kind of crazy with the whole twenty five hour thing. Like I said, like I said from the beginning, I agree with it, but then again, I don't agree with it because okay, granted, there's a lot of they, right now there there are a lot of repairs that should have been done way before Hurricane Sandy because basically you know when Hurricane Sandy came around, a lot of train stations were were destroyed. Oh yeah, from from uh, what you call it, um, White Whitehall Street, Coney Island, even the L, even the L line was, was destroyed too. Part of the L line. So basically, yeah. now it makes you think. And I'm not striking a blow at the MTA. I'm not striking a blow at any employees. You I'm might as doing, well because not, they're gonna get, they're gonna be ridiculed no matter which I mean, way like it goes. I mean, we you like they have so much so many fear hikes. Where's the money going to? You know what I'm saying? You know. Our, our our subway system is still is still you know lacking. It's still slow. It's still basically you know is never on time. It's still you know it's just it's so much with that. There's a lot of repairs, you know, a lot of delays. It's a lot of things that are going on. You know what I'm saying with the with with the sub with the um the MTA even the buses, like you know what's so funny and I, I don't know who worked for the MTA right now on there, but this is what I heard. Even on the buses, they said that if you arrive early in the bus, the bus ride get the bus driver gets written up, and it's like that makes no sense because got to arrive early because hello like some people basically have to get to where they're going but we i kind of understand it also too like i said I'm, i have a duality on this whole thing but, but again like i said with the, when it comes to the mta they should not relinquish 24 hours um services we, we mm. need you need to keep that because first of all new york is considered the, the city that never sleeps how in the hell are you going to stop um mass transit after 12 o'clock that makes no sense well i i will say i did did a lot of research on it because um, when we did the, um, the the live talk last night, me and uh, Shu, or Shu and myself, I should say, mm -hmm. let me be a little bit more proper. Um, and <laughs> then uh, Shu <laughs> and Wesley. You just also hit it just now. Yeah, I know. Ball. Unfortunately, it's so <laughs> dance, right? <laughs> um, and Elaine was already making fun of us, uh, yeah. one of Helen's friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw that. She tried to say Brooklyn. Talk funny, yeah, yeah Brooklyn, well, baby. That's because yeah. I have the true Brooklynese uh, yeah, Brooklyn. thing. We speak you know? but you know what though? They love us, and they come here and try to sound just like us. So guess what? Go Brooklyn, go um, New York. New so, York. So there were two. <laughs> there were there were two mainstream um, media sources yeah. that pretty much announced this because I guess MTA didn't have the balls to do it. Um, first was the New York Post. Or the New York Daily News, I'm sorry, uh -huh. that originally gave the platform article to the whole thing. Yeah. However, since the article was printed in the Daily News, uh -huh. uh, Channel 4 News mm -hmm. went the extra mile, and that's NBC4 here in New York. I don't know where it is by you. Yeah, it's different, different, different areas. Because um, we have we have listeners from all over the place. Um, they have pretty much gone to the extra mile to release more info on the MTA thing. Now, just summarizing some of this, and the first paragraph is the one that really hits home. They are planning to make a new, greatly expanded Penn Station complex, which links Metro North, Mm -hmm. New Jersey Transit, mm -hmm. the Long Island Railroad, mm -hmm. as well as the New York City subway system mm -hmm. in one general facility. However, 
this is a very big point, and I guarantee you this point will piss that one off. You'll and maybe the cleaning lady who's sitting in the back, who's just sitting there just listening to us ramble. And eating some type of... Uh... They will, however, be relocating Madison Square Garden. What? Yes. Because in their setup on the map... That's scary. There's the reason why, and this is the reason why. In a and after they spent four hundred million dollars fucking re renovating the garden. Yeah. Okay, don't, don't, don't now anybody, the oh. reason why they would be relocating MSG right. is because that is the general area where all four of these transportation will meet. He's right. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that is true. That's From true. MSG to Jersey, which is almost going along, okay, I'm going to get it confused, the Holland Tunnel, mm. which is the one that runs along 40th? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So that actually, that, has, that actually has water. That, that's underwater. I well, guess. yeah. So underwater. that's close to that tunnel. That would bring you to Jersey. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's true. The yeah. LIRR does run close to MSG, mm -hmm. but not close enough to where they would all meet. Steven. So, therefore, there's another part for where it, it connects. This should have been done years ago, to be honest. Like, Steven's now, saying it right here, dude. Rumors 2023, the closing of MSG. It's not the closing of MSG. It's the relocation of MSG. Well, they got to close that one down to relocate something else. Well, they'll... It's, but, just, like, it's just like with uh, Yankee Stadium. With Yankee Stadium and... Uh, and Chase Stadium. Chase Stadium. Yeah. yeah, they, they made the city, city field, and then Yankee Stadium, they moved from one part to another part, which... Yeah, they basically Which, just moved it across the street. Yeah, I mean, uh, but again, but like, you know what? All right, in a way, crazy. in a way, the benefit in the long run of this happening is good. It is However, good. it is good. It's going to tear New York City apart. That's why I said as they start to begin to do this. And guess what, Rick? He knows crazy too. Now all that is happening. And that's why right now, a lot of, a lot of um, housing and stuff like real estate is going up because of that, because yeah. because of that. Because let's be sincere. Look at uh, Barclays Center. Look at the neighborhood over there. When, when Barclays Center was first built, neighborhood wasn't really that much expensive. Now, trying to Ooh. live there. Um, those, not for anything. I mean, I mean, Park Slope used to be expensive living. Park Slope is expensive, expensive. to begin with before the Barclays Center it, it got was, there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, those are all, first off, those are all not regular houses. For those of of our listeners that do not know, those are brownstones. Those are all yeah. brownstones. Brown, brownstone brownstones now. They are two or three family yeah. uh, set up, and they go minimum even before the Barclays Center got there at like sixteen hundred a month. Now okay. It's, now it's more than that. Now it's more. Now, now it's like a fucking million. But uh, again, almost a, almost a million. But again. And this is what I, I it goes back with the whole zoning thing. Okay, they brought a arena to what a lot of people would say is a Marlena. horrific looking area. Right. Okay. Now you brought the Barclay Center there, and what happened? A lot of areas. The neighborhood cleaned cleaned up. up. A lot, lot of stores that was there, like like my favorite store I used to go to Triangle Sports, gone. I know, gone. I love that place. Gone. I used to buy my um my my marsh, well like my boxing equipment and like and my boots from there, gone. Like Models is there, is of course on and popping, of course. <sighs> uh, and my, mind you, since 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 boxing have been open, I've never been there. I've never been. I've never been in there. I've at, been at there. But the fun, but the funny times, it's not that bad. But the funny thing is, is that now again, like you put a tourist attraction there. Okay, it's not as it's not as big and glamorous as MSG. All right, I'll, 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 I'm leaving that right out there. But you've put there another arena or another place of interest hmm. for God forbid the Islander fans, the Nets that relocated from Jersey because they weren't open. getting they weren't getting fans there. Now they're in a better arena with better travel, and it's in a better area. I'm sorry. I would not rather be out in the middle of Bumblefuck, Jersey, where there's not a train for like eight miles to be right downstairs from a train. 
Okay? True. The neighborhood got better. You know what's so crazy too? Remember the one Hanson Place building? Yes. I used to go there. I used to go there to get my dental work. As a matter of fact, I got I went there to get my braces when I was in my teens. Yeah. Now it's a fucking um hotel. Believe that shit. It's a hotel now. Which oh. which which remind which also too, and speaking of hotels. Yeah. And since we're in about talking about New York City, you know, now me, I work for um, you know, the Department of Homeless Service and stuff like that. You know, right. I don't want to get into it too deep. Oh. But now, you know, majority of the New York hotels are becoming shelters. Yeah, they become, they become they become in shelters now, and it's like, you know, like like I said, we talk about the cost of living. The cost of living now, basically, the homeless, the homeless, homelessness is becoming such an epidemic now. It's not even funny. Hell, me right now, I live in a room. I'm not in no apartment. I live in a room. Like 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 even rooms now, they want background. They want a whole bunch of craziness for a room, just for a room. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah. But but at this point right now, let me let me ask. I mean, and so that we've... better not happen. Well, first off, the Islanders are moving out to queens okay i i have the That's inside track right. on they're, that they're, they're, they're moving out toward deals. belmont yeah let them do that but all right if you were to break this down going back to the mta thing mm -hmm. all right and we're getting a phone call uh it's miss fior ah, ah. oh wonderful you're on the pipe bomb well oh the speaker's not on, on. Wait, wait wait don't hang up don't, Hey, Fiora, you're on the pipe bomb. Hey, guys, what's up? How are you doing? Good, what's good, going on? Good, good. How's everything? Good. We uh, we were put on the spot earlier, so now this situation had to come up. Oh. Okay, can I, can I bring something up, or do you want me to call back? That's why it is entitled Open Forum. Let your okay. voice be heard. Okay. In Coney Island, they're doing a lot of stuff. For example, they plan to add a new road coming into Coney Island. Because in, I don't know if you've been here in Coney Island during the summertime, we always get heavy traffic. Oh, yeah. Especially on 4th of July. Yeah. They're also adding a shelter, uh, home shelter right here on Neptune and 24th Street. Isn't that, isn't that, um, what, what hotel is that? Wasn't that the, uh, Stillwell Hotel, if I'm not mistaken, to sleep in? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, because a few friends of mine work there, as a matter of fact. Well, they want to put it next to Mark Twain. Oh. We're on the same block, next to you, down the, on the same block on the corner. That's ridiculous. Yeah, well, but you know what, though? I mean, I, okay, I'm going to keep real with you on this one. See, everybody look at the homelessness and they oh, my God, they're just a bunch of people. Listen, anybody can be homeless. They're people. You, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're still people. Anybody can be homeless. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, us, us right here, us, you, anybody. I'm not putting, I'm not putting a curse on anybody, but to me, I've been working with the homeless shelter, the homeless people for about 13 years. Oh, no, I don't, I don't have nothing against them. Firstly, because my sister, my sister been in, in a shelter due to violence, you know, domestic violence. I'm, I'm sorry to and, hear that. I, I thought you told me about that. I'm sorry. And again, yeah, again it, I'm, I'm sorry yeah. to hear that again. I'm sorry to hear but that. But I'm not against that. I'm not against the shelter or anything. But, you know, it's just a, it's, a lot of parents are crazy. upset because it's next to the school. But I mean, which is a safety issue but, in its own but, right. But, 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 but not, but on, honestly, okay. But see, also, here's another thing, too. See, majority of shelters are not just shelters for like, you know, adults. They're mostly for like families. Like, it's like, because you got kids that go to school who are in shelters, which is kind of crazy. Like, like, mm -hmm. like me, I work in a family shelter. And of course, over there where you at is a family shelter as well. It, you know, they have women and kids, couples, stuff like that. And of course, because right. let's, let's be real, if they have somebody who's a pedophile, they can't go around that area. That's that's like a no go. Our executive producer is making a very valid point. What'd she say? That but isn't a shelter better than hundreds of people laying around all over Long uh, Coney Island? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. I, I yes, true, it, true. I it, agree. It, it is good. It is good. But the thing about it is, is like you know, it, the the cost of living has gone up so high that homelessness in New York has become such an epidemic. It's just, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like trying to live, and then and to top it all. You gotta cram yourself with to live with other people. It's like if not even. Not but but Kavasu, Kavasu, there's also bad shelters. I mean, oh, tell you something listen, like the one in downtown Brooklyn. I know. They say that's the worst one. I know. Oh, I know that. Listen, listen, listen. You, you're talking to somebody who's been working with the shelter system for 13 years. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Trust me, I know that for a fact. I can tell you that. I can tell you, and, and you're, you're absolutely right. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it, to be honest, I don't want to say it's, it's not the shelter that's bad. It's the people who are in there because at the end of the day, you know, there's different personalities when it comes to living. When it comes to living in the shelter and working in the shelter, there's different personalities. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I know my sister. But she was still um when she stood there for almost a year. She got robbed twice. Twice. They yeah. cleaned her whole thing out. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. they were you know, they were watching, and then it's the same people that work there, the security guards. You know, you gotta have like a special pass or ID to get in to the shelter. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. right so she right. got robbed twice. Like, um, this year, as a matter of fact. Damn. I'm, I'm sorry so you know, it has it has its advantages. It has its advantages and disadvantages. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I'm really, really sorry to hear that. You know. That's okay. Now the roads. I don't know. Like I say, if you've been to Coney Island, how bad the traffic is when, especially a Fourth of July weekend. Yeah, I know it's about the, that. The I, know. Street, I mean, to three in the morning, if you're not in Coney Island, you you fucked because you're stuck. You're stuck in, in the traffic. You have they it moves so slow. That's why they they're trying to make another road to come to Coney Island. Well, at this point right now, I guess if. Yeah, well, in 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 my opinion, and I don't care if anybody likes it or not, um, if you don't know good how to, know how to get a, around Brooklyn, then you shouldn't be doing it. That's why I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Why, I know about why. eight different ways to get into Coney Island, whether it be on foot, by bus, or by car. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Like I said, mass transit. Let me tell you something. To me, when it comes to when when you talk about New York, mass transit is like the the monolith, the foundation of New York, because this is what this is why tourists come to New York. Not because of basically, oh, riding the fucking cab. They want to basically come there, oh, ride the trains, ride the buses, stuff like that. You know, they, they think it's glorious, which basically in some of the countries, they have this, they have somewhat of the same thing. But see, us, everybody, everybody want to come to New York because of that. But now for the whole 24-hour bit, niggas in that, it doesn't make any sense. Because like I said, New York basically has the nickname of, the city that never sleeps. Yeah, but you know what? Like, Enzo's making a point right now. I'm sorry to cut you off, Fior. Um, okay. But Enzo makes a point. Like, Mark works at the VA down off of 92nd Street, okay, and 7th Avenue. Yeah, right. All right? He leaves his house like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Now, for him to get to work on time, if that train specifically... I'm not sure which one it is that he takes, or the bus, or whatever. The D train all the time? I don't know what it is, but if what, he misses what, what that, yeah. if he's not able yeah, to get yeah, on yeah, that yeah. train, yeah, he's the, not the, making it to work on time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. The VA hospital, Enzo right? brings up a pretty good VA point hospital, Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. That's Because you have yo, to be there early you, in the yeah, morning. You have to, you have to. Yo, he's absolutely right about that. Because I, I remember years ago, going to the VA hospital, we're going to the uh, Fort Hamilton over there. And yeah, he's right. He's trying to get a bitch. Yes. Rick, I, I have a friend that he moved on um, to upstate um the Pocono area and he didn't have to take the bus, I mean the train all the way to work in the, in New York. Mm. And it takes him three hours to four hours depending, you know, on the train. Yeah, but you see that's again, that's that's the point though. Like I'm not sure whether they're doing it to to all the train service or is it just to New York City? That would be just insane for doing it in general. It'll be insane. But because... think of it this way, though. Like she said, he takes a train down from the Poconos, mm -hmm. okay, to the city. That's a Metro North train. Right. All right? That comes into the city. And if he needs to transfer anywhere else at fucking um, at, the, at Grand Central, right? right. Grand Central Station? Yeah, he transferred transfer in the city. He transferred in the city to go to Queens. Yeah. But that's a long hike. That is. That it is. really yeah. is. You know, in yeah. situations like this, and he has a car, and he doesn't want to um, tra um, drive all the way out there because you know it's tiring. Traffic, and, and to be honest, like just like, just like I said earlier, when it comes to Manhattan, it's hard to find parking. And parking, you have Seriously. you have to pay for parking, and that oh, that's why I don't drive to Manhattan. It's like you know, it, you know, living in New York. Honestly, it's like a catch twenty two because it's like you have it's like you, you do mass transit. They want to fuck up mass transit. You have a car. You Gotta pay for gas and then also gotta pay for parking. It's like it, the, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it, exactly. You know, no matter which way you look at it, I mean, you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna cut off. You can't win. Mm -hmm. 
They're going to cut off this whole thing with the MTA after a certain amount of time. Then you're going to get a lot of people going to complain about, oh, but what am I supposed to do if I'm out past that time? And all they're going to turn around and say is, then don't be out past that time then. So what, everyone's supposed to be a fucking stuck in that Swim house? Well, the read, the, read the executive producer's comment on I there, know, the because this affects some of our friends. They're planning on eliminating the L train for 12 yeah. to 18 months yeah. prior to, I mean, for repair and maintain. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say, yeah. 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 Dude, what the fuck? You, you take the L. I know that. You're going to have to fucking reroute for a year and a half. So basically, I'll have to take the bus going into Brownsville to catch the fucking train. Or, Unless. or, or I can basically take the bus, get up at Fulton Street, catch the A or the C train, and basically go to work because... The L train, basically, it was my only source of going into the city. Okay, so now... Fucking assholes. Uh, again, if you're... I had to, to go to downtown Brooklyn today, and I refused to drive because there is no parking. No, yeah. And no. they no, give you a ticket lying. right away. Oh, lying. they give you a ticket. Right. Mm -hmm. right. There's no parking down there. You park down there in the wrong way, they will ticket your ass like a fucking um, cow. Well, oh, exactly. Man. That's also if you're not cheap enough. And I get it. I get it. A lot of people can't afford it, but there are parking lots down there. Dude, do you see the prices of them park parking lots down here? I understand that, but again, this You're is going right, to go. Joe. This goes again with another argument yeah. that I have about this. Okay, yes, it has to do with the cost of living, but and it's predominantly it's something that I would see when I'm looking at that ugly building called Lowe's. All right, is that a lot of people? take advantage of modern technology by using uber and lyft yeah hey listen i'll be able to keep real with you uber i'm gonna be honest with you uber has been a lifesaver numerous times but this is where but this is where the the this is why the controversy of it happens okay mm -hmm. um it, late night situations mm -hmm. 11 12 o'clock People don't want to be sitting there waiting for a bus. No. Now, we're going into December, and then you're going to have January and February. Winter's All coming. The winter winter's is coming. coming. That's a really bad fucking setup for Game of Thrones. I'm a bastard. But, <laughs> yes, I'm a boss. I'm too. a boss. <laughs> um, are coming. But think of it this way. With that one click on your phone, you've ordered yourself a cab. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yes, you're going to pay more money for it. No. But no. Uber... I'm gonna be honest, listen, when it comes to Uber and Lyft, it depends. Also, because sometimes if you if you've been with because I know people who get shit cheap. They they, they their car rides is like at least like six dollars. Because if you got an Uber pool, it's cheaper. Uber pool is well, cheaper. Well the yeah, Enzo, yes, you remember that. That's right. What do you say? Anna and I took a fucking Uber from JFK Airport last August. How much was it? <laughs> let me <laughs> let me uh, fill you in on this one, brother. What happened was when we're coming back from Vegas, uh, what, what, four months ago? Yes, about four months ago, we're coming back. We landed JFK. We're, we're getting out. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sorry. My throat's scratchy. Get to the point. Um, <laughs> get to the are you trying me because I'm white? Yes. And because I got Guys, let me hang up so I can call. Okay. okay. All right. No problem. Get to the story. All right. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Bye. Later. Later. So uh, we got our luggage. We go outside. And so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some guy comes up to us and says, you need a cab. Of course, it's fucking pouring rain. We needed a cab from the airport. They charge you, charge you like fucking $30, $50, right? Almost like $75 he tried charging us. So I looked at the guy. I threw the fucking Brooklyn accent on an overdrive. And I said, you know we're from here. We're not wait, visiting. Wait, 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 wait. Was he an Uber or was he just regular the cab? He was an Uber. He had, the, the he had the Uber fucking get thing. Get the fuck out of here. He what? had the Uber fucking logo in the car, the whole nine yards. Wow, he wasn't supposed to even do that. He tried he was fucking... Supposed to, he wasn't supposed to do that, actually. He wasn't supposed to do that at all. Dude, from fucking JFK Airport to T and fucking Kimball to my father's house, he tried hitting us up for $75. Nah, 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 we not supposed to do well, that. And I told him, we're from here. We're not visiting. Being, so being, went down to fucking 35 there. Being the fact that I am a former car service guy, See. All right, the rates vary from airport to airport. I do not know how Uber and Lyft set up their rates or whatever. I think my, I think by mileage, I'm not sure because I'm, I'm 
girl, my girlfriend takes Uber. I take it also sometimes. But they and my sister takes Uber too. But they're they're pretty they're pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty decent. Uber Lyft is the same thing. And plus, as a matter of fact, my friend, my teacher, I call it, he's my teacher also. He he works as, as, as something like that also. But they don't really charge that much when it comes to Uber. They don't charge them. However, you take a livery cab, they charge. You. <laughs> well, again, but that's the other Ooh. problem is is that regular car services aren't even around anymore because of Uber and Lyft. Not really. They, 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 there's some, as about, as there are a few, but yeah. not as many as there were right, 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 right. Very few before the revolution now. of right. Uber you and know what's funny? When it was a rip off. You know what's so right. funny? When I was in Florida, this is funny. When I was in Florida, um, I remember Uber, Uber and Le and, Le and like livery cars were like going to blows. I mean, really? They were, yeah, it was like a war down there. Well, like, especially at the airports. Yo, mm. What? Yo, yo, dude, like their companies had like a sign saying. Uber is not allowed here. If Uber if Uber is not allowed here. Do not come in this area. Wow. Yo. Yes, they got Uber Eats. That's right. <laughs> I fuck with Gro uh, Grubhub. Grubhub actually found me yeah. a whole bunch of different stuff. Grubhub? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I'm yeah, telling you. Yo, into that. You got you to try it, man. Yeah. Grubhub showed you a whole bunch of different restaurants that you haven't even fucking seen. Really? That's in your neighborhood. Yeah. Dude, Sweet. I found a fucking Japanese restaurant around my neighborhood. That's how I got the ramen and, and the Japanese soda. I by the, by the way, the I would like to give a <laughs> shout out to Joe. I, I can't pronounce your Joe, your last name, Joe. I don't want to butcher Dudian. him. Dudian? Dudian. All right. I want to give a shout out to Joe because I know he's a member of the Marine Park group. And That's what I, I applaud him for showing up to the show. I, I feel like um, he, <clears throat> he's only like the, the, the brink, like the beginning of people that are understanding about getting all this info out on the, the zoning and the MTA thing. So shout out to you, Joe. Um, all right, Joe. If you want to add me, um, obviously you're watching the show, and uh, we have a lot more funnier, insane yes. uh, stuff. Next episode. Uh, We're we can not add serious you. all the time like yeah. this. Yeah, it's but, yeah, but so, sometimes too, you know, sometimes we gotta basically change it up because you know we gotta have people take us seriously because you know we can't we can't always be court jesters. Sometimes we gotta be of uh, uh, noble. We gotta you know, be noble minded, noble, noble, and you know what's what I'm looking for? Uh, sophisticated. Exactly. You know, uh, Juan says, "What's up, Karasu?" Hey, yeah, Juan, what's he up? He said, "Yo, Karasu." So, so uh, thank you, Joe, for coming on the show. Um, pass the word. Um, of what our movement is, um, I, I don't want to cut it too short, but no, no, no. Um, oh, we do have to. Uh, yeah, what do we got? Uh, yeah, we are fifty-one change. 51 and a half. Yeah. I so, mean, so, far, so far, so far, um, well, pretty good. But um, you know, I, oh, I shit. Joe's father was a cop in the sixty-third. Cool. Which is funny because he's still in the neighborhood. Here. Yeah, still over here, Joe. That's the, that's one of Flatbush, right? You did yes. You damn right. Matter of fact, the Thursday before New Year's Eve. You know what's so funny? You know what's so funny? That's the same precinct basically that I, you know I had to go there and I got arrested. That's when um Manny went with me. That's when um you know that whole yeah that whole, the whole situation. Luke and a fucking cocksucker. Yeah. And I hope but, some way somehow he's here in this. But you know what though? You know I, I like I said I put that behind me, but Good. it's just memories, memories, memories that you know that we we hit upon, which is kind of crazy. Um, not to change the subject, but um, Jim just Jim just reminded me that was a friend of ours named Billy Gianni. By the way, Joe, uh, he's about to tell you just cut me off. I, I'm sorry. I had this because he's white too. I'm not. I'm not to use his better. His is bigger. I don't care. I'm stronger than he is. Tell me nothing. I, I have more technique. I will bury it. I have more technique. Don't start with me. White privilege. <laughs> Black assassination. <laughs> but um, he's got you, on Joe. The by the way, my dad knows Jay, and he's been up there for like the last two years, hanging out with him. So no, well, I was, uh, I was I love that pixelation shit, but that's besides. I was going to say, um, Jim just reminded me. It's been 18 years since a friend of ours, Billy Gianni's pa uh, father, a good friend of ours, um, passed away. Yeah. And this is this is when we was in our all in our 20s. This is like before I met Rick. And yeah, it's just so it's, it's yo, it's like it's 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 crazy. Like when he when he hit me with that outside, I said that's right. And I'm looking back on a lot of memories. It's like, dude, like we we us three of us three right here, we know each other for years. You know, like you know, this is when I was slim, he was slim, he was slim. We was all like, you know, 
Yeah, we're all fat bastards. Yeah, you, now. yeah exactly. We, 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 all, were, we were little bastards and we're fat bastards. Yeah, now. exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, it's, just, it's crazy. It's crazy. Right. We, were just, we were just talking about that outside earlier, and it was just amazing. Like, you know, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. Huh? But we all pretty much stand for the, the, the fact of. Right, you're sitting, not standing. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Uh, and figuratively, don't you be um, smart. We'll, we'll stand on these issues, like, um, and that's the great part of our show is that um, the arguments that we have out here aren't like Privileges. violent, but they, but they get the point across. Like the difference of opinions that we have are, uh, are are more of a discussion type thing than anything else. So we're kind of the UN, but we don't just don't bomb each other. Hmm. You know. We bomb well, unless, he, unless he shits his pants. <laughs> That's a different story. Um, Which he probably must have did earlier because he made a really bad part. Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> Joe, Joe, pass the word on. We have another episode coming. Tell all your friends, all your family, all your co-workers. Uh, don't tell your grandchildren unless they're old enough of, of age. Yeah. Um, if, if you have any. They got privileges. Yes. Uh, so there's two white guys here. <laughs> I don't know. I look. I look orange. I can tell if, if it means anything. I look whiter than usual right now. That's because you're sitting in front of the screen. The uh, pipe bomb two thousand. I'm a the pipe bomb. The, the fresh clean uh, pipe I'm bomb two thousand. Just my complexion. Yes. I look, All right, and I look beautiful too. All right, so we have another show to get ready for. Yeah. We're taking a slight little break. <laughs> break a little slight. But what did it say? Rick didn't have the beard back when we met in high school. No, I only had to go to. I only had the goatee. Wow. And the uh the, the really bad song. Marlena wants to see slim pictures of us. I have a few. Are you serious? I found band practice pictures of us, dude. When we were slim. Wait, wait, wait. Is, is By the way, this page? slim this yes. pictures of me slim on wait, my uh, Facebook page. Yeah. Marlena, if, is it okay that Karasu friends request uh, friend requests you? Just for I throw it out there. Cool. Well, I'm taking crap my god. Excellent. Excellent. Enzo, do you have pics of him without a beard? He's keeping them from me. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. You know what's so funny? The baby face. You days. know what's so funny? I have a pictures of me when I was slim in my in my um in my uh karate uniform. Well, I have a karate uniform plus, you know, the, it was called a hakama, and I have a sword, and I have my shirt off too. I was a slim mo mofo, but I was muscular. Did you just say mofo? Yes, mofo. Mofo is the word of the night. Ah, yes. mofo. Ah. All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's try to save some for the second episode. He's a motherfucker also. We have, to, we have to impress Joe. <laughs> okay, okay. okay we have Donald, to... you just signed on now. You want to impress yes. Joe? Listen. Listen, Donald's a very busy person. You know what? Right? You know what? If you want to know what that means, you have to just tune into the next episode. Yes. All right, yes. so we're taking a slight break. Yes. And, and uh, hello episode... to Joe, Joe uh, my friend Joe. I bowled with him out in Jersey. He was a pleasure to bowl with. And next episode, you will see me with my mask. Yes. The yes. mask will be back, and we will be in full effect. We just had to play serious. The tenure so is making a return we're, in episode two. We are, we are ending off the open forum. I um, really want to see you in your karate gi. Oh, she said it right here. Wait, 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 wait. The net today, uh, the the new one today, or uh, back then. You you want to see the picture of him in the gi or in All person? Right, we can save the conversation for the next episode, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, make, fine. You know what? Listen, don't make me go all in the family on everybody. You know, right? I don't want to do that. Well, you're gonna piss on his leg. I don't want to go. Because your privileges. So do I, apparently. Yeah, but while you're too. pissing on mine, I can piss on yours. No, you can't. Yes, you I can. have a fucking no. circle. Yes, yes, exactly, you have a circle. We got triangle piss. You just go like that. You know? Yeah, no. Is this the Triforce? I'm, yes. no. I'm crossing the street. <laughs> <laughs> Marlene said that nose. Oh, jeez. Look at what the fucking nose. All right, guys. All right. So. What's with the nose? Everyone loves the nose. For those who don't know us, that's Jim, who's hiding behind the pipe bomb. That's Karasu. Uh, 